So let's take a look at the course overview for the new City to Sea event. We go from the heart of the Melbourne CBD around the world famous Grand Prix circuit and then down to Beach Road to finish at the St Kilda Harbour there. You will take in some of the most famous, the iconic parts of the Melbourne CBD along the way. And if it's anything like, and it will be like its sister event, the City to Surf in Sydney, you will want to get your entry in fast. A very special achievement to say that you were part of the first event in November 2011. We'll give you an idea of what parts of the course might be like for the runners with some special film captured here out on the course. Heading now with on your right hand side the Grand Prix course in Albert Park there in the direction of St Kilda. The great thing is on race day there'll be no traffic like this. The organisers do a, a wonderful job of managing all the logistics. They get 85,000 people in Sydney. What can Melbourne produce for this? Melbourne, thought of by many as the sporting capital, will undoubtedly have a huge turnout down along Beach Road in the direction of Port Melbourne. There'll be a flood of runners on the day. Great feeling to know that the sea is just beside you there. And then you'll perform a turn and head back toward the St Kilda Harbour to the finish. So get your entry in by heading to the official City to Sea website and we look forward to seeing you in November on the course and finding out who will win the inaugural first ever City to Sea.